Live and direct from Jerry Sloan Gymnasium in McLeansboro, Illinois, it's exciting Edwards County Lady Lions and the Hamilton County Lady Foxes volleyball tonight. We welcome our uh, viewers and listeners on uh, the uh, Foxes uh, website that uh, Danny Anselman uh, normally uh, has for his uh, fans of Edwards or of uh, the uh, McLeansboro Foxes sports activities. Uh, Randy Olson also has it set up on his uh, areasports.net uh, website. So, Troy, tonight uh, we're uh, going to be on three different websites tonight for people to watch this championship game of this Class 2A regional volleyball match here between Edwards County and uh, the uh, Hamilton County. I hope you uh, McLeansboro fans will forgive me because I mean, when I was in school, it was the McLeansboro Foxes. Right. And uh, But now they're called the Hamilton County Foxes. But, again, what I started to say is tonight we're coming uh, through the Internet to three different websites. Uh, of course, Randy Olson, who is the brains behind this whole operation, who helps us uh, maintain our uh, websites for Edwards County Sports and also helps Danny with uh, the Foxes Net uh, website that they have and of course maintains one for himself. So here we are tonight bringing you the championship game of this Class 2A Regional Volleyball Tournament. And our webcasts are always sponsored by the uh, Edwards County Webcast Boosters. Troy will be mentioning uh, some of their names as we continue through the evening. And I hope folks, I'll try my best not to sound too much of a homer for Edwards County fans, but please understand that Troy and I have been covering the Edwards County Lady Lions all season. And we may just be a little bit prejudiced uh, here because, uh, well, that, that's our school. There you go. <laughs> but we are glad to have the folks uh, from the uh, Hamilton County area who are fans of the Lady Foxes who just could not be here tonight and uh, could uh, watch the match here on, uh, on your particular website. Troy, I think it's going to be a good match. Uh, I think it is, Dave, especially when you consider that uh, – it's probably fair to say, Dave, that neither one of these teams was really favored to win on Tuesday. I mean, uh, it is Hamilton County's home floor, but Fairfield was the number one seed right. coming into this thing. Right. But they played a very good game in defeating them, and, uh, and it is also fair to say, Dave, that uh, it might have been a different outcome if Allie Pennington had not been injured early in the first set of that game for Fairfield. But nevertheless, Dave, the, they've had a lot of great battles with Fairfield, so it's not surprising that they were able to come out on top and defeat them. And then, Dave, based on the problems we had had in the past with the Flora Wolf gals, uh, it would not have been surprising to have seen them come out on top in that game. But, Dave, after that second matchup where uh, uh, Nixie Nikowski uh, the game at our Invitational where they had to play it in the all-purpose gym. Nixie wanted to play that game because she wanted to draw up more of a game plan for when she knew these two teams would be facing in again later on down the road. And she came up with the game plan, Dave. The girls executed it to perfection, and they bumped off a very tough floor team. Yeah, that floor squad had not one but two good power hitters right. that really worked us over the first time we met up at Flora. But Coach Nikowski had uh, made some very careful charts to see how uh, F uh, Flora played their game. And they put it into uh, action to perfection here Tuesday night. Because every time uh, uh, Crimson Jones and uh, what was the Cameron, uh, Cameron Sydney Cammon uh, went up for a shot, we were there to block it. And eventually they tried to hit over the blocks. And what that ended up is them hitting it over the end line. And our defense uh, Tuesday night was outstanding. I think, you know, we played our best defensive game that we've played all season here Tuesday night. Now the question is, which Edwards County Lady Lions team is going to show up here? Because Saturday they played in a tournament up at uh, Mount Pulaski. They played five matches up there. And as I said Tuesday night, we stunk up the place. It, to, to the point where Coach Nikowski, after the third match in the hospitality room, said to, or apologized to me that uh, we spent all the time and money and effort to, to come up there and uh, webcast those games when the Lions played such horrible volleyball up there. 
and they did end up losing their fifth match to Illini Central, a team they should have easily defeated. So coming into last night, I didn't have very strong hopes of Edwards County winning, but as we quickly found out, Coach Nikowski had the, the Lady Lions well prepared uh, for the match, and uh, they did come out on top. By the way, for those who may have missed the scores in this tournament, it all began Monday night when the seventh-seeded team, Hamilton County, defeated the eighth-seeded team in the tournament, El Dorado, in two sets, 25-7 and 25-17. And then Tuesday night, Hamilton County, by virtue of winning Monday night, met with uh, Fairfield, the number one-seeded team, and in two sets, Hamilton County took care of Fairfield, 25-21 and 25-23. That, that second set was uh, a very close match there. And then, as we've said, Ed Edwards County defeated Flora by uh, scores of 25-22 in the first set. Uh, we uh, lost the second set, 22-25, but then came back to win the third set, 25-20. So that means it's Hamilton County and Edwards County here tonight playing for the tournament championship and the right to move on to the Nashville sectional, which will be played next Tuesday, November 3rd, in Nashville, Illinois. Not Nashville, Tennessee, obviously, but Nashville, Illinois, next Tuesday night, November 3rd, and the winner of this match will meet the winner of the belleville Altoff Catholic Regional at 7 o'clock next Tuesday night. And um, so that's the way things stack up here for these two teams. The Edwards County uh, Lions have finished their uh, warm-ups out there uh, practicing their uh, shots at the net. And now we see the Lady Foxes are uh, taking their warm-ups there for uh, their head coach, uh, Jason Hall, and his assistant, Teresa Golden. Uh, Clint Weinmiller is the athletic director for McLeansboro. Now, I'm not familiar with the McLeansboro girls. Uh, we did not. Uh, they were in the Albion uh, invitational tournament here on a Saturday a few weeks ago, but we didn't play McLeansboro, and I didn't get a chance to see them. So every time they were playing, they were on a different court than where we were covering. And quite frankly, I didn't pay that much attention to their game against Fairfield uh, Tuesday night, so I'm very unfamiliar with the uh, Lady Foxes, and I'll do my best to try to uh, identify the Lady Foxes whenever they make plays. I've got uh, my cheat sheet right here in front of me to give me the roster of the girls, but uh, I'm familiar with the Edwards County girls after covering them all season and know them without a cheat sheet. But I'll do my best here tonight to uh, let our uh, Hamilton County area viewers let uh, them know. Of course, you can see it there on your screen right. as we bring it. I'll tell you what, Troy, I scared myself uh, practically to death here a little while ago as we plugged in. Uh, the uh, line that Danny Anselmott uh, gave us to use last night, or Tuesday night, and it worked fine. And I plugged it in here tonight and kept waiting for it and waiting for it and waiting for it to connect, and it just wouldn't connect. Yeah. And uh, finally, well, maybe maybe somehow, some way, the line got disconnected. So I quickly hooked up our Verizon wireless system here, and bang oh, it came right in about uh, five minutes before before airtime. Before uh, uh, web not, time. not air time, web, web time. time. We do not broadcast, yeah. by the way. Uh, we do not bro broadcasting is something done by radio stations and television stations. We webcast over the internet. Troy's going to check some of our Edwards County webcast boosters. These are the folks that are paying two dollars, by the way, each one, to help Troy and I uh, cover our expenses in bringing you this game tonight. Troy. Kenton Sue Nail of Neal's Funeral Home in Albion and Fairfield. Gospel Chapel, a non-denominational church in Bone Gap. Services begin every Sunday morning at 10. Janice Shaw of Janice's Beauty Shop in Albion. She offers the complete line of beauty shop services for women, and she also cuts hair for men, including these two webcasters right here. Yeah, she cut mine this morning. I can tell. Yeah. Call That's Janice. why I'm wearing a hat, because my head's cold uh, with yeah, all the hair gone. I would imagine. <laughs> Uh, call Janice for an appointment at 445-2436. Radio station WVYN 90.9 in Wayne City, featuring the best Christian music in southern Illinois. A listener-supported Christian radio station. Gene Kolak, owner of the Band Cave Gallery in Fairfield. Western memorabilia, motivational posters, pictures, and Native American art. Gene carries many custom handmade and factory knives. Do you need your carpets clean? Call Dan Aaron of Dan's Carpet Cleaning. 618-302-0972. Dan, Shirley, Michael, and Travis are cheering on the Lions. Cheryl Taylor and Mary Erickson of TJ Marsh backing the boys and Lady Lions. 
T.J. Marsh over 30 years of serving and supporting the community. Rick, Kelly, Allison, and Drew Wolf, Allison Wolf's family. Dwayne and Leanne Lear of Lear Electric and Albion. For electrical service you can depend on, call Dwayne Lear at 446-3166. Steve Thompson, your country financial agent at 107 East North Street in West Salem. A financial representative providing insurance, auto home and more, and financial services, 618-456-2002. Coach Russ Gerlach and his family, Seely Max and Clive, Kelly Brewster, Kate Brewster's mother, and Jim and Nyla McKenzie, Coach Nikowski's parents. Just a few of the webcast boosters, and Troy will be mentioning more of them later on. By the way, Troy, I got a call uh, this afternoon from uh, uh, Susan Markman wanting to know how come she hadn't heard her name among the webcast boosters. And I said, well because uh, I never did hear from you that you wanted to be on. You know, we do not assume just because no. you were on last year or on the baseball webcasts or, or the basketball webcast <laughs> last year that you will be on this year. We do need, uh, I don't take those uh, things for granted uh, because, you know, I, I want people to tell me for sure they want to be on. So, uh, but, but she wanted to be on today. So yeah. Bill and Susan Markman, I think that's uh, Zoe's uh, grandpa and grandma. Right. Uh, so they're webcasters tonight. Well, the horn has sounded. Uh, the McLeansboro, or Hamilton County, I'm sorry, Hamilton County Lady Foxes have come to the sideline. The Edwards County Lady Lions are uh, on their sideline. I guess we're getting about ready to start this uh, match, Toy. Of course, they'll have the national anthem here. So uh, uh, they, they haven't lowered the big flag there in the middle of the uh, court from the ceiling yet. So, Not quite. Uh, they'll surely have to do that. Uh, because I don't see any other. Oh, there's a flag down there in the uh, uh, north. I guess that's north up there that way. I always lose my directions whenever we go to a new uh, location. Well, they're going to introduce the starters, I guess, first. They're going to introduce the Lady Foxes first. Adrienne Weinmiller, she is a junior. Emily Blades, she is a junior. Kaylee Dodson, she is a freshman. J.C. Ryling, number 17, she's a junior. Number four is uh, Catherine Drone, she is a sophomore. Number 27 is Sydney Williams, she is a junior. Number 23 is uh, Caitlin Barr. They must be introducing the whole squad, Troy, instead of just the starters. Well, a couple of girls didn't get uh, to be introduced there. One, two, three, four, five, six, and they, I think they introduced us uh, eight girls. But anyway, that'll give us an idea of who we're going to see on the floor. Now they'll introduce the uh, Lady Lions. Edwards County came in with a record of 14 and 21. Uh, they were 14 and 16 before they went into that tournament up at Mount Pulaski last Saturday and lost five matches. There is uh, Gracie Perkins. She'll be one of the starters. Anna Rotrammel, who did not play at all Tuesday night. I don't know what the cause was. Maddie Gillard is a starter. There is Kate Brewster. Megan Watkins, she's a senior, as is Maddie Gillard. Sarah Mavis is a junior. Zoe Markman is a junior. She's a little spark plug, and Zoe's all over the floor. Malia Schmittler, she's a freshman, one of the tallest girls on the squad for Edwards County. Yeah, they're introducing the whole squad, Troy, instead of just the starters. There's Grace Thomason. She's a junior. And Karis Horton it will be our libero, as you can see there with her red libero jersey. So uh, they've introduced the whole squads. I don't know who's going to be starting, Troy. I don't either. <laughs> so uh, anyway, uh, Coach Nikowski uh, with her assistants, Erica Bishop and Whitney Mann Buckles. And now they've got the flag down from the ceiling. So I better take my hat off here. Hold on just a minute, folks. We'll try to pick up the singing with these heads on, heads head microphones.
Sound like they were having a little trouble there with that uh, wireless microphone over there, Troy. But that lady, whoever she is, did a great job singing the national anthem. A lot better than you could have ever done. That's not exactly saying much. <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what, Troy, we want to thank uh, Athletic Director Clint Weinmiller and the rest of the uh, Hamilton County staff for uh, their welcome and uh, the way they have uh, uh, provided for us our needs here at uh, the gym uh, this week. And we look forward to uh, a lot of uh, interesting matches in the future in basketball, football, volleyball, baseball, and softball as Edwards County will join the Black Diamond Conference next school year. And uh, we got to get out of that stinking Little Illini Conference. Yes. Got to finish out this school year. And then we'll get into the Little Illini Conference where I think things are going to be a lot more interesting and a lot more fun. Absolutely. All right. The girls meet at the uh, net for the traditional handshake underneath the net. And uh, let's see. The starters for Edwards County. We've got Markman, uh, Thomason, Gillard, Schmittler, Perkins, Watkins and uh, Horton, our libero. So one of those girls will go off when the libero checks on for Edwards County. Usually it's Grace Thomason. See if I can pick up some of the starters now. Oh, Troy, before I forget, both teams met in a circle uh, for prayer here yeah. before the warm-up started. Yeah. That really blessed me to see the uh, Hamilton County Foxes, Lady Foxes, and the Edwards County Lady Lions forming a circle together to pray together before the start of this match here tonight. Looks like uh, Hamilton County is going to get the first serve, and the serve will come from Emily Blades, number 12. She is a sophomore. Some of the other starters out there, there's uh, J.C. Ryling, 23, Caitlin Barr, 15, uh, Kaylee Dodson, 25, Adrienne Weinmiller, and who am I missing, Troy, that I haven't mentioned? Well, anyway, there's the whistle, so here we go. Championship match underway here at Jerry Sloan Gymnasium. Good serve to the back. No, oh, there's the back back there. Gillard set up, and Schmittler hammers it, but they dig it out. They set it to the right side, push it back to us. There's the dig there by Horton, set up by Zoe, and a shot by Maddie Gillard for the kill. And the first point of the night goes to Edwards County. Maddie Gillard. The left-hander, left-handed senior hitting from that right side of the net gets the point down for Edwards County. And Kate Brewster, a sophomore, will go back to serve it for Edwards County. There's the whistle. Kate from the left side of the end line runs forward, shoots the ball. There's the dig from the back line, bumped towards the net, pushed back over to Edwards County. Horton with a dig, set up there by Brewster and a tip over by Markman. Hamilton County sets it up, and a hammer from the middle there by Dodson is dug out by Edwards County, bumped back over there by uh, Watkins, who's in the lineup now. There's a shot to the back line, and that's out of bounds. That'll be a point, unless it was touched. No, it was not. Knocked out of bounds there. I think it was number 15, Dodson, who knocked it out. And so it's 2-0 Edwards County here in set one. And that'll bring up another serve from Kate Brewster. Here it comes. The dig from the back line goes off of her hands toward the right, off the hands of Caitlin Barr, the senior, and into the crowd, and it's now 3-0 Edwards County. Hamilton County setting up their defense. And here's the serve by Brewster, a short serve, dug out, and that's going to hit the floor as their libero, Megan Mitchell, came running forward and tried to get a hand underneath it and couldn't, so there's an ace for Kate Brewster, and it's 4-0 Edwards County here in set one. Pretty good crowd on hand here, Troy. Excellent crowd for both teams, Dave. Served by Brewster down the far sideline, dug out over there by Blades, tipped to the net, knocked over the net there by Dodson, set up by Edwards County, and there's a shot there by Schmittler. They dig that out, set it up to the middle, and a hammer to the back line, and a whistle. Somebody's in the net, Edwards County. Yeah. Edwards County in the net. And so the point goes to Hamilton County, and it's Edwards County 4, Hamilton County 1. And Adrienne Weinmiller will go back to serve it for the Foxes. Looks like she likes to serve from the middle of the end line. Shaded just a little bit to the left there. And here comes the serve right down the middle, and it's over the end line. So that's a service error by Weinmiller, and the point goes to Edwards County, and it's now 5-1. to one. And the freshman. Malia Schmittler will go back to serve it for Edwards County. 
Here it comes to the back line. There's the dig by the Foxes, set towards the front of the net. Shot, nice shot there for McLeansboro by Dodson, but dug out by Edwards County. Bumped over and in for a point for in. Megan Watkins. Megan Watkins hitting from the left side of the front line, gets it inside the near sideline, and it's six to one Edwards County here in set one. Schmittler waiting for the whistle, got it, and now steps forward, swats the ball to the back line near the right side. They push it to the middle of the net, shot to the back line, dug out back there by Perkins, bumped up by Brewster, and a shot by Watkins. Dug out there by Mitchell, set up to the left side of the net, bumped over, dug out, nice save there by Watkins, bumped over the net by, Bru or check that uh, Markman. Now they get it back over to Edwards County. Good work by Hamlin County. Here's a shot from the left side by Watkins, and they can't save it. That'll be another kill for Megan Watkins, the senior shooting from the left side that time, and Hamilton County wants timeout. It's Edwards County seven, and Hamilton County one. Troy? Emma Campbell Smith, Sam and Sheila Smith, Zoe Martin's grandparents, Eddie and Joyce Miller, Chad and Marilyn Lindsay and Seth McKenzie, David and Lisa Mathis, George and Shirley Tribe, the watering can at 107 West Main Street, stop in and see the flyers and gift items that Nathan has available. Call 445-3924. And although we have not played them, Dave, we do know a lot about Coach Jason Hall, and he was not going to let this keep going without no, a, he, a timeout. He, he knew this was uh, – if he didn't get things straightened out, this right. could get out of control quickly. So right. he quickly called timeout to try to settle his Lady Foxes down. As we go back to play, Malia Schmittler still has the serve for Edwards County. Lions leading 7-1 to one here in set one. Schmittler gets the whistle, shoots the ball down the middle, middle of the court dig. Set up to the left side of the net this time, and a hammer shot blocked at the net, dug out, bumped back over by Brewster, and Kate Brewster knocks it out of bounds. That'll be a point for the Foxes. Ball hit over by Kaylee Dodson, and Edwards County could not uh, get it back over without knocking it out of bounds. 7-2 to two the score. This serve comes from Sidney Williams. Williams from the right side, shoots the ball to the back line, dig from the middle by Horton, bumped up there by Watkins, and a backhand bump over by Brewster. McLeansboro, or Hamilton County, if you will, sets it to the left side, a shot to the back line there, knocked over there by Williams. Now here's a shot from the left side, and Megan Watkins knocks it out of bounds. Watkins that time could not keep it inside the lines, and it's now 7-3 here in set one, Edwards County by four. Sydney Williams with the serve for the Lady Foxes. There it goes, a line drive serve, dug out back there by Perkins, dug up by Brewster, bumped over on a backhand knock there by Markman. Hamilton County sets it up to the left side, a shot blocked at the net, and it's blocked down on Edwards County side. Good shot there by Kaylee Dodson for Hamilton County, and it's now seven to four. Lady Fox is making a comeback, so that was a good turn timeout call by Jason Hall. Once again, the serve by Williams. Good serve to the back line. Oh, no, it's over the end line. I thought that it was gonna fall inside the green lines, but it slipped over. We do have line judges. Most, well, in fact, all season, Troy, we never saw line judges anywhere we went, but it's IHSA rule that when tournament time comes, there have to be two line judges as well as the two officials at the net. Eight to four the score, Edwards County with the lead and the serve now. Sarah Mavis, a junior, will serve it. There it comes. There's the dig from the back line there by Blades, set up at the net, shot across court, and that's a nice kill for Hamilton County by Caitlin Barr. And it's now eight to five. Dodson goes to the bench. Their libero, Megan Mitchell, in now to take the serve for the Lady Foxes. Good serve to the middle of the court. Dig there by Markman. Bumped up by Brewster. And from the back row, Horton, our libero, bumps it over to Hamilton County. They set it up to the net. Shot to the back line is out of bounds. Knocked out of bounds that time by Caitlin Barr. And the attack error gives Edwards County a point, nine to five the score, and Zoe Markman will go back to serve it. Brewster goes to the bench, and uh, Road Trammel checks in for Edwards County, taking a spot in the middle of the front row. Jump serve by Markman is a good one, set towards the net, set up now to the left side, a shot to the back row, dug out back there by Mavis, Markman sets it up, shot by Road Trammel, and it hits the floor, and the point will go to Edwards County. Hannah Road Trammel. Gets that point for the Lady Lions. Hannah is a junior. 
Markman, the junior, goes back to serve. There's her jump serve, a short one this time. Dug out from the back row. Bumped towards the right side of the net. Tip over to Edwards County. Dug out by Gillard. Set up by Markman and knocked over by Gillard. And it's in. Maddie Gillard, she's a left-hander. And left-handers, when they hit from that right side, Troy, have a good dis dis distinct advantage. And Maddie gets it. It's 11-5 Edwards County here in set one. Markman again with a serve. Here it comes. There's the dig back there by Mitchell. Set up at the net and just bumped over there by Weinmiller, and it falls out. Adriana Weinmiller tried to bump it and get it inside the green line down the sideline, but missed it by about a foot. So it's now 12 to five Edwards County here in set one. Once again, Zoe Markman runs forward, shoots it down the far sideline, dig back there by Mitchell. Set up there by Barr and knocked over to Edwards County side and in there. I missed the girl who hit the, did you catch the number of the girl who got the kill for him? Um, I'm thinking, Dave, I could be wrong that it was 23 on that. That would be Barr, Caitlin Barr. So it's 12 to 6 now and the serve, serve will come from J.C. Riley. Good serve to the middle, dig back there by Horton, bumped up by Markman, bumped over on a backhand knock by Rotrammel. Hamilton County sets it up at the middle of the net and a shot to the back line there. Nice shot by Blades. Edwards County bumps it into the net. That'll be a point for Hamilton County. 12 to seven now the score. Hamilton County trying to make a comeback. They're down by five here in set one. J.C. Riling, the junior, steps forward from the right side of the end line. Back to the middle of the back line. Horton and a shot there by Grace, Thomas Grace Thomason is in for Edwards County, 13 to seven. Grace is a junior and our libero, Karis Horton will take the serve for Edwards County. And here it comes. There's the dig from the back row by their libero. They set it to the right side this time and a shot goes into the net as Caitlin Barr just could not get enough elevation to knock it over the top of the net. And the attack error gives Edwards County the point, 14 to seven now. Once again, Karis Horton runs forward with her jump serve. There from the back row, the dig by Mitchell, set to the right side, a shot to the back line, dig there by Markman, set up by Gillard, pushed over back there by Mavis. Hamilton County sets it to the left side this time and it's knocked into the net. Another attack error, that time by Caitlin Barr. And it's now 15 to seven here in set one. Jason Hall, Hamilton County coach walking the sideline. Nixie Nikowski is seated on the Edwards County bench. There's the serve, the dig from the back line for the Foxes set back to the back line and a shot goes into the net, partially blocked by Edwards County, but Hamilton County on that third hit had to make it from the back row and they were at this to disadvantage. Timeout McLeansboro or Hamilton County, if you will. 16 to seven, Edwards County with a lead in set one. Troy? Bob and Mona Nice, Burton and Donna Hawking. Jason Holfaker, Mike and Kristen Spear, Spear Construction Company, David and Amy Brewster of Brewster Enterprises, parents of Kate Brewster, attorney Brian Schenkel and his wife Sonia, Myrna Mason, Billy, Tanya, Shayla, and Jonah Potts, Shayla Potts family, Betty and Kenny Smith, Zoe Markman's great grandparents, Kent, Jamie Lynn Clay, and Ellie Marks, Sadie Marks family, and Wes, Kelly, Caitlin, and Jennifer Ryman. Troy, I noticed down there the Edwards County student cheering section is at work here tonight. Oh, yeah. You know, and this is a mixed crowd. You, you look around, you see people who are here for the Foxes in green. Right. And people for Edwards County in black. And it's not one side Edwards no. County and Hamilton County the other side. They're kind of mixed up. Good serve there by Horton for Edwards County. They set it up to their right side. A shot across the net. Dug out there by Mavis. Tipped over by Gillard. But Hamilton County recovers well. Tip of the net blocked down there by Schmittler and Gillard. Hamilton County bumps it back over on a good recovery. They set it back up and a shot by Gillard. That's dug out there by Mitchell. Set up to the net again and a shot to the back row and a good shot for the Foxes by number 23, Caitlin Barr. Foxes played good defense that uh, volley. 16 to eight to score. Back to serve for the Foxes, number 23, Caitlin Barr, she's a senior. She gets the whistle and now steps forward, hits the ball to the middle of the back line, dig by Horton. Zoe sets it up and it's knocked into the net there by Malia Schmittler, the freshman outside hitter for the Lions. So it's 16 to nine now here in set one and the Foxes will again have the serve. 
And again, it'll be Caitlin Barr. Lady Foxes and Lady Lions doing battle for the regional championship here tonight at Jerry Sloan Gymnasium. Good serve, dig back there by Mavis. Markman sets it up, tipped over there by Roe Tramble. Foxes now set it to the left side of the net. Hammer it, partially blocked, saved there by Mavis. Markman sets it up, Roe Trammell hits it. They dig that out, set it to the middle of the net, pushed into the net though on an attack error by Emily Blades. And that makes it 17 to nine. And now here is uh, Mavis going to the bench and uh, Uh, looks like Gracie Perkins. Yeah, that's who it is. Gracie Perkins steps into the lineup for Edwards County. Gracie will take the serve. And here it comes. There's the dig. At the middle of the net, they set it up and bump back to Edwards County. Watkins with a dig. Set up by Markman. Tip over by Schmittler. And somebody's in the net. I think we were. Malia. Nope. Yep. Malia Schmittler got into the net making the tip. So it's now Edwards County 17, Hamilton County 10. And this serve will come. From uh, Riling again, J.C. Riling. Wasn't she serving just a little while ago? Maybe it wasn't her. Oh, it was number 12. I'm sorry, Emily Blades. All right, they set it up, and Gillard hammers it into the net, but it goes over to Hamilton County side. Now they push it back to us. Dug out by Markman, set up by Gillard. Shot by Watkins is too long. Over the end line it goes. Attack error by Edwards County. And now it's 17 to 11. Lady Fox is down by six here in set one, and the serve will come from Emily Blades, a junior. Good serve to the back line, dig back there by Perkins. Markman sets it up to the left side, Watkins shoots it, and good defense there by Hamilton County, they bump it back to us. Horton, Markman, shot by Gillard, dug out again by the Lady Foxes and hammered down by Malia Schmittler as the dig on defense by the Foxes set the ball right above the net, setting it up for an easy kill for Edwards County. 18 to 11 the score. Gillard goes to the bench and Kate Brewster, the sophomore, checks in to take the serve for Edwards County. Remember 25 is the winning score. You must win by at least two. Serve by Brewster is good to the back line. They dig that out, set it to the net again. Bump backhanded over there by Dodson. Edwards County sets it up, tipped over by Markman. Hamilton County sets it up in the middle and tipped back over. And Edwards County sets it to the left side. Shot by Watkins. Dug out and goes back over to Edwards County. Markman, Brewster, shot by Schmittler. Malia Schmittler with the power slam for Edwards County. And it's 19 to 11. All right. Brewster goes back to serve it again. Brewster is a server setter specialist for the Lady Lions. Dribbling that volleyball now runs forward with a jump serve. Dig from the back row there by Mitchell, set to the middle of the net, hammered there by Dodson, dug out, tipped back down again by Dodson, shot by Markman, they dig that out, Foxes shoot it to the middle and they knock it over the end line. This time it was over the end line, hit by Kaylee Dodson, and the attack error gives Edwards County their 20th point. It's 20 to 11 here in set one. Once again, Kate Brewster has the serve for Edwards County. She steps forward, shoots it down the far sideline, dug out from the back row there by Blades, set to the middle, a hammer shot there by Williams. Edwards County plays it back by Markman. Hamilton County sets it up in the middle of the net again, and a knockover, and Edwards County recovers, pushed over there by Perkins on a good recovery. Hamilton County with the ball now, knock it back to Edwards County, dig by Horton. Brewster and bumped over backhanded kind of way there by Schmittler. Hamilton County hammers it, and a good kill. Wasn't that number 15, Troy Dodson, with that shot? Yes. Kaylee Dodson, the kill for Hamilton County, and it's now 20 to 12 here in set one. And I think they got a substitute. Number four checked in. That's Catherine Drone, a sophomore. She takes a spot on the front row on the left side. And the serve is going to come from uh, Adrienne Weinmiller. Big for Edwards County. Bumped up there by Watkins. Pushed over by Markman. Hamilton County sets it to the net, left side, hammer to the back row, dug out by Brewster, wrecked over, and a good tip over by number 15, Kaylee Dodson for Hamilton County, as Edwards County misplayed it, and it's 20 to 13 in set one. Again, the serve by Adrienne Weinmiller. Here it comes, back row dig by Markman. Brewster sets it up, tip over by Schmittler. Hamilton County sets it up to the right side of the net. A shot there by Dodson and a good kill by Kaylee Dodson again. 
According to my score sheet here, she's only a freshman, Troy, and happens to be one of their best scorers. 20 to 14 now. And again, Wine Miller with the serve for the Lady Foxes. There was the whistle, and here comes the serve. Dig back there by Horton. Brewster sets it up, hammered by Megan Watkins into the net. And Coach Nikowski wants timeout now. It's Edwards County 20, Hamilton County 15. Troy? Dr. Chris Ballard and his family, Loudermilk Equipment in West Salem, buy, sell, and trade. Quality consignments are welcome. Phone 618-262-3450. Victor and Fairland Oxby, Linda Oxby's parents, Jim Jody and Tyler Peach, J.R., Tara Haley, and J.C. Beerstree of JTK Services, truck and trailer service with a large parts inventory and tires, located north of Albion on West Village Road. Dan and Judy Bosecker of Bow Farms, Phil and Nancy Watkins, Megan Watkins' grandparents, cheering on the Lady Lions from Grants Pass, Oregon, Jeff Gillard of Gillard True Value Hardware in Albion, Carmine, and Grayville, Jeff is Manny Gillard's father. And Dave, this is no surprise because on um, separate occasions when it looked like Fairfield might have the Lady Foxes on they the ropes, back. they came back. And I see now the Foxes, the Lady Foxes have a student cheering section backing them across the way. All right, the serve again from Wine Miller for the Lady Foxes. Here it comes. It's a good one. Back row dig back there by Perkins set up and a shot by Schmittler. Dug into the net, but they save it. Tipped back over by Schmittler. Dug out back there by Mitchell. At the net, tipped over, and Schmittler messed it up. Malia Schmittler went up to try to block the ball and kind of was off uh, timing there, and it fell to the floor, and it's 20 to 16 now. Lady Fox is making a big comeback here in set one. Adrian Weinmiller with the serve again. Here it comes. Dig by Horton. Set up by Brewster. Shot by Markman. Foxes play it. Set it to the middle. Shot to the back row. Save there by Brewster. Markman sets it up. Hammered there by Watkins. Foxes playing good defense. They shoot it back to Edwards County. Dig by Watkins. Brewster sets it up. Markman with the shot. Dug out by Mitchell. Set up at the net there. The shot by Dodson is into the net. And that'll be an attack error by the Foxes. And Edwards County gets the point. Grace Thomason, a junior, checks into the lineup now, replacing our libero, Karis Horton. It's 21 to 16, and the serve will come from the freshman, Malia Schmittler. Serve to the back line, dug out, set to the middle of the net. To the left side, a shot is partially blocked. It goes off the hands of the blocker, Grace Thomason, to the floor. And that'll be a point for the Lady Foxes. And it's now 21 to 17. Just a four point difference now here in set one. Serve will come from Sydney Williams. She's a junior. Sydney slaps the ball down the middle. Dig by Horton, who's back in now. Brewster with the set. Hammer by Watkins. Easily played out by the Foxes. Shot back to Edwards County. Perkins digs that out. Brewster sets it up. Thomason hammers it. Partially blocked. It's on the floor still. And bumped back to Edwards County. Horton, Brewster. Watkins out. Megan Watkins not having near the kind of night she had the other night, Troy. No, not yet. She's had a lot of attack errors. When she was scoring Tuesday night, she has attack errors tonight. Now I think we may have uh, official conferring there with uh, Megan on the sideline. I don't know whether maybe she has an injury. I think she might, Dave. I think uh, uh, maybe a wrist injury or something. On on the attempted uh, kill shot there. Could be. It's 21 to 18, by the way, here in set one. Ah, that's right, it must be an injury, maybe to her, el her elbow. Our athletic, tra uh, athletic trainer, Rachel Stevens, is now out of the crowd and coming out there attending to Megan. And, uh, well, I guess it's not too bad. She stays in there, and Rachel goes back to the bleachers. Hamilton County still has the serve. It'll come from Sydney Williams. And here comes the serve, dug by Horton. Brewster sets it up, handled by Watkins, and that time Megan got it down. The kill by Megan Watkins, the senior, 22 to 18. Now here's uh, Hannah Rotrammel checking into the lineup, and also Sarah Mavis as Watkins and uh, Perkins go to the bench. Sarah Mavis, a junior, will take the serve. 22 to 18 here in set one, Edwards County with the lead. 
Served by Mavis is a good one. Dug out there by Blade. Set at the net. Shot down this near side. A good shot for Hamilton County by number 23, Caitlin Barr. 22-19. Three-point difference now. And their libero, Megan Mitchell, will go back to serve it. She's wearing the black libero jersey. Here's the serve. It's a good serve. Dig by our libero, Horton. Set up by Brewster. Shot there by Rotrammel. Foxes push it back to Edwards County. Brewster with a dig. Markman with a set. Tip over by Thomason. Foxes keep it alive. Push it back to Edwards County. Horton with the dig. Brewster sets it up. And a bump over by Thomason. Hamilton County at the net. Pushes it back. Dug out by Mavis. Brewster and a shot by Rotrammel. Foxes dig that out. Bump it back to Edwards County, and it may go out, and it is. Bump over the end line, and the point goes to the Lions. And now here's Maddie Gillard checking back in for Edwards County for Kate Brewster as Zoe Markman will go back to serve it. 23-19, Edwards County by four here in set one. Championship game of the Class 2A Regional in McLeansboro from Jerry Sloan Gymnasium. Served by Markman is a good one to the back line. Dug out. Set to the back line again, and Mitchell, the libero, bumps it back over on the third hit. Markman sets it up. Tip over by Gillard. Foxes keep it alive on their side. Push it back to Edwards County. Dug out back there by Horton. Shot now by Thomason. Blocked back to Edwards County. Dug out by Thomason. Pushed over by Horton. Hamilton County now sets the ball up to their left side. A shot partially blocked, and it goes to the floor off the block. Troy Edwards County not nearly doing as good a job blocking tonight no, as they did against no. uh, Flora Tuesday night. No. 23 to 20. And the Lady Foxes have climbed right back into this match. And I think this is Ryland Coy. No, that's not who it is. It's number 17, J.C. Ryling with the serve. Edwards County digs it out. Markman sets it up. Thomason shoots it. And that's going to go into the crowd off the dig by J.C. Ryling and the point for Edwards County puts it at set point. Edwards County 24, Hamilton County 20. Harris Horton will take the serve. Horton rushes forward, shoots it down the middle, dig from the back line back there by Williams, set up to the right side, a shot, dug out back there by Horton, set up by Gillard, bumped over by Roe Trammell. Mitchell digs it out for the Lady Foxes. Left side shot, blocked down, and that's it. Blocked by Malia Schmittler for the point, and Edwards County takes set number one by a score of 25 to 20. We'll have set two coming up here shortly, but right now Troy's gonna check more of our webcast boosters. The Watkins family and Brandy's Bark Avenue. John Watkins is the branch leader for Plumber's Supply in Mount Vernon. George and Nancy Gerlach, Coach Gerlach's parents, Citizens National Bank in Albion, Brian and Jamie Mavis, Brian is your Edwards Jones agent in Albion, Faith Whistle's dad, Tony Whistle and Gina, Gayla Hallam, Olivia Hallam's mother, Junior and Kim Fuchs, Kinley Fuchs' parents, the Cowger family, David, Tiffany, Dallin, Camden, Ann Addison, Mary Horton, Karis Horton's mother, Jeff and Angie Hout, Maddie Hout's parents, Kurt and Rosemary Lambert, Pamela Lambert's parents, Kevin and Heidi and TJ Smurden, Stephen Benita Thomas and Grace Thomason's parents, Brian Moore, CPA with an office at 112 North 5th in Albin, the House of Prayer on North 5th Street in Albin, Mac Dalton is the pastor, Kojak's Taxidermy in Grayville, keep Kojak's Taxidermy in mind when deer season rolls around. And Dave, I'll tell you another difference in this game, something that Flora was not doing Tuesday night. The Lady Foxes play good defense, and they're getting their digs, which they also did yeah, against Fairfield. Yeah, yeah their Lady Foxes are playing much better defense than Flora did right. uh, Tuesday night. And so, uh, you, you know, it, it shows. We win by five here in this uh, first set, 25-20. But, you know, there for a while, Troy, it looked like Edwards County was going to run away. Uh, but Coach Jason Hall made a very wise timeout and uh, two very wise timeouts. Well, yeah, two very <laughs> wise timeouts, and got his Lady Foxes uh, back on the beam, and uh, they made a good rush here at the end. But uh, unfortunately for them, uh, they just didn't have that much room to uh, negotiate with. Right. As we said earlier, nice size turnout for this championship match, both of Edwards County and uh, Hamilton County fans. Edwards County fans, for the most part, wearing black, and the. Uh, Hamilton County fans wearing their green. 
And uh, Edwards County looks like they're going to have the first serve to start set two as our server specialist, Kate Brewster, will go back in serve formation. I don't know who these gentlemen are that are the officials at the net, but that guy on the uh, floor over there, I've seen him yes. many times. Right. And we do have two line judges, one over there at the far corner and one here at this near corner. Brewster likes to serve from the left side of the end line, and that's where she is right now getting ready for this serve, and here it comes. Serve to the back line is too long. Boy, now that's one thing Kate doesn't do very often, Troy. No. That's one of her rare service errors. And so Hamilton County takes a 1-0 lead here in set two. And back to serve for them is Adrienne Weinmiller. Weinmiller gets the whistle. And she shoots the ball to the back line. Dig there by Perkins. Saved by Schmittler. Bumped over from the back line by Perkins for Edwards County. Hamilton County sets it up at the net. Partially blocked by Schmittler. Dig out by Markman. Set up and a shot by Watkins goes into the net. Once again, Megan Watkins having trouble there getting that ball over the net, hitting it into the net. 2 nothing Hamilton County. Wine Miller again will have the serve for the Lady Foxes. Here it comes. Dig back there by Horton. Brewster sets it up. Schmittler hammers it. Boy, they dug that out. That was a hard shot, but dug yep. out. Shot back to Edwards County. Horton saves it. Brewster sets it up. Schmittler hammers it again. And that time they couldn't get it as Schmittler this time hit it at an angle and got it inside the sideline. And that's the first point of set two for Edwards County. Grace Thomason checks into the lineup for Edwards County. And Malia Schmittler goes back to serve it. Hamilton County two, Edwards County one. Good serve by Schmittler to the back line. Dug out, bump towards the net. Backhand bump over there by Dotson. Perkins digs it out. Brewster sets it up. And that time, Megan got high enough and shot it down. Hamilton County had no chance to dig that one out. And the score is tied at two in set two. Championship match of this Class 2A regional tournament in girls volleyball. Malia Schmittler. Shoots the ball to their back line. Oh, that's an ace as that goes off the hands of Megan Mitchell. There, libero. Troy, you've got to get those hands square when you go yeah, to dig it. If right. one hand is a little higher than the other, that ball will go wailing off to the side. Yeah. And that's what happened there. 3-2, Edwards County now with the lead in set two. Schmittler served to the back line, dug out. I think that's another one for an ace. Once again, I think that was number four, Catherine Drone, who tried to dig that one out. And again, it went off her hands to the side. So that's two aces for Schmittler here. Here comes her next serve. There's the dig by Mitchell there, libero. Bumped towards the net. Pushed over there by Drone. Edwards County dug it out and pushed over by Markman on the second hit to try to surprise them. But they were ready. Shot blocked at the net by Thomason and four hits. Four hits by Hamilton County. Edwards County five, Hamilton County two here in set two. If Edwards County wins this set, the match is over, but if Hamilton County wins, then we play a third set. Good serve there by Schmittler. Dug out by Mitchell, set up, and a shot there is a good kill by Kaylee Dodson, the middle hitter for the Lady Foxes. And it makes it now five to three. Edwards County by two. Back to serve, Sydney Williams. Williams looks like she likes the right side of the end line. Shoots the ball to Edwards County's back line. Dug right back over into the net off the hands of Karis Horton. That's an example again there of not having the hand square for the dig. And it's an ace for Williams. That makes it five to four now. Edwards County by a point. There's the whistle and here comes the next serve. Dig back there that time by Perkins. Brewster sets it up. Watkins hammers it. Dug right back. Set up by Markman. Brewster, Markman shoots it over. Now it's on their side. They set it to the middle. Shot and a whistle. Somebody's in the net. I think we were. Edwards County in the net. I believe it was Grace Thomason clipped into the net. And now we're tied at five here in set two. Again, Williams with the serve for the Lady Foxes. She shoots the ball to the back line, and it's over the end line. That's a service error by the Lady Foxes. And the point goes to Edwards County. Here's Sarah Mavis checking in for Edwards County. She'll take the serve as Megan Watkins takes a rest on the bench. Also, Perkins leaves the lineup, and Rotrammel checks in for the Lady Lions. 
Sarah Mavis, a junior, with a serve from the right side of the end line. Shoots the ball to the back line. There's the dig for the Foxes. Set to the left side. A shot to the back line. Nice save there by Mavis. Brewster sets it up in the net. Rotramble bumps it over and knocks it out of bounds. And that ties the score at six. Hannah Rotramble did not play Tuesday night. She was on the bench but did not play. But she's in the lineup tonight. All right, this is uh, Megan Mitchell with the serve. There's the dig by uh, Mavis, set up by Brewster. Shot by Rotrammel is going to be a kill by Hannah Rotrammel. Lady Foxes tried to dig it out, but it was hit too hard for them to handle. Now here's Maddie Gillard back in as Brewster goes to the bench. So it's going to be Gillard, Rotrammel, and Thomason on the front row for the Lions. And Zoe Markman, she's a junior. Zoe seldom, if ever, leaves the floor. She's out there from the very first serve to the last one. Here's Zoe's jump serve. That's a short serve, and it's going to be an ace. Zoe served it on purpose, short. And coming forward, Williams could not get under it, so it's 8-6 to six, Edwards County here in set two. Markman again with the serve. Here it comes. Zoe to the back line with their dig. That's Williams. Set up at the left side of the net. Pushed back to Edwards County and a well-placed shot for Hamilton County. I believe that was by Caitlin Barr as it went to a, the far side corner and nobody there to defend it for Edwards County. So it's the Lions 8, the Foxes 7, and back to serve for the Lady Foxes, J.C. Ryling. Ryling steps forward, shoots the ball down the middle. Dig there by Mavis. Bumped up by Gillard and knocked over by Rotrammel to their back line. They move it to the middle of the net. Now to the left side. A shot to the back line is in. Another good shot there by Caitlin Barr for the Lady Foxes. Again, Edwards County leaving that far corner undefended. And the Foxes have found it twice here. And the score's tied at eight. Back to serve, Ryling. Ryling gets the whistle. And here comes her serve. And it is in. Lady Lions decided to let it bounce as if it would go out, but the line judge down here in the corner said, nope, it was inside the green line. And the Lady Foxes have taken the lead, 9-8 to eight here in set two. Again, Riling with the serve. Here it comes. Dig back there by Horton. Bumped over there by Perkins to save it from out of the net. And now the Foxes bump it back to Edwards County. Horton with the dig. Markman sets it up. Thomason with the tip. Foxes play that easily. Left side shot now. Yes, in. Mm. Another good shot there by Caitlin Barr. And Coach Nikowski says, I've seen enough of that. I want timeout. It's Hamilton County 10, Edwards County 8. Troy? Larry Schmittler Service, oil field engine repair in Grayville. Larry and Linda Schmittler, grandparents of volleyball player Malia Schmittler, football player Martin Schmittler, and baseball basketball player Nathaniel Schmittler. Mark Root and Private Dylan Root from Fort Leonard Wood. Go Megs for Dylan. Gary Holtman out in Grants Pass, Oregon. Let's go Lady Lions. The Edwards County Sports Booster Club. Be sure to join this club to support athletics at Edwards County High School. Tom and Rita Horton, grandparents of Karis Horton, Chris and Lori Schmittler, Mal Malia Schmittler's parents, Steve and Barbara Andrews, grandparents of Allison Wolf, and Ashley Craig and Christy Glover from the ECHS English Department. All right, the Lady Foxes still have the serve, leading now by two points, 10 to 8. Here's the serve by J.C. Riling. There's the dig by Gillard, bumped up by Road Trammel, and Horton from the back row just bumps it back over to the Foxes. They go to the left side, Riling with another shot, and that's another kill for Caitlin Barr. Caitlin Barr scoring the points tonight for the Lady Foxes, and they lead now 11-8 to eight here in set two. Well, Troy, the second set has sometimes been a bugaboo for Edwards County. Unfortunately. After playing very well in the first set, sometimes they let down in the second. There's a serve to the back row, and that's over the end line. That's a service error by J.C. Riling, gives Edwards County the point. It's now 11 to 9, Foxes by two. Malia Schmittler checks back in for Grace Thomason for Edwards County. And Karis Horton has the serve. It's a good one to their back. Ooh, it's an ace. That ball got high up on the chest, almost hit her in the face. J.C. Riling, and she had no chance to dig that out. Foxes lead by only a point now, 11 to 10. Here's Horton's serve. Another line drive serve, dug out back there by Mitchell. They set it to the right side, shot, and another well-placed shot by Caitlin Barr. 
Caitlin is a senior. One of the few, in fact, she's the only senior on their roster, Troy, according to my roster sheet. Foxes 12, Lions 10 here in set two. Edwards County took the first set for those just joining us. Here's a serve from Caitlin Barr. And it's a good one to the back line. Dig there by Mavis. Markman sets it up. Schmittler hammers it over the end line. Attack error. Another point for Hamilton County. 13 to 10. Boy, Troy, if you're going to hit those balls hard, you got to knock it directly to the floor. You hit it at an angle, and it's going to go out most of the time. All right, here's the serve for the Lady Foxes. Dig back there by Horton. Markman sets it up. Roe Trammell hammers it. They dig that out from the back line, set it to the left side. Here's a shot by Barr, dug out by Mavis. Markman, hammered by Roe Trammell. Back to us and hammered down by Schmittler. Boy, Troy, when you dig that ball out from the back line and you just barely get it over the net, you're asking for trouble. 13-11 to 11 to score. And Gracie Perkins checks back in. Mavis goes to the bench and Watkins checks back in. Roe Trammell went to the bench. And what, um, check that, Perkins will have the serve. 13 to 11 the score, Foxes by two. Good serve, pushed back to Edwards County, dig by Markman. Gillard sets it up, Watkins shoots it, tip back to us, bump back over by Schmittler. Foxes now trying to recover, push it back to us. There's uh, Markman, Gillard, spanked over there by Perkins. Foxes back to us and tipped over by, did she hit that with her left hand? I think she did. Malia Schmittler tipped it kind of at, a, at an angle and got the point for Edwards County. And again, Perkins will have the serve. It's 13 to 12, Foxes by a point. Good serve by Perkins. Mitchell digs it out for the Foxes. From the back row, it's hammered to Edwards County. Here's a shot now by Gillard, and they dig that out. There's their second hit, bump back to Edwards County. Dug out there by uh, Mavis. And pumped over on from the back row on the third hit by Horton. Foxes bump it back from the back row, back to Edwards County. And a hammer by Maddie Gillard, the senior left-hander, shoots it down for Edwards County. And we're tied at 13. Well, these are two closely matched teams, Troy. Oh, yes, absolutely, Dave. And timeout called now by the Foxes. And we're tied at 13 in set two, Troy. Don and Marilyn Brewster, Kate Brewster's grandparents, Stu, Shadina, Zimmy, and Zed Markman, Zoe Markman's family. And Mike, don't forget Bill and, uh, and, Bill and Susan, Susan Markman, Markman uh, Zoe's grandparents. grandparents. Yep. Uh, Mike and Melanie Troyer, parents of Michaela and Maverick Troyer, Kenny and June Mavis, grandparents of Sarah Mavis, in memory of Coach Wayne Pollard by his family, Amber, Kaia, and Kian Hallam, cheering for Olivia Hallam and the rest of the Lady Lions, and former head volleyball coach, Linda Oxby. Maverick Troyer, who we'll see a lot of during the basketball season, leading the Edwards County cheering section down there. We're tied at 13, and uh, there's the serve by Gracie Perkins for Edwards County. There's the dig from the back row, bumped up on the second hit. Back to us on the third. Dig out by Perkins, set up by Markman, and the shot by Watkins for the kill. Troy, that time Edwards County used a, used a phase. Yeah. They faked as if the shot was going to come from the middle, and Watkins instead shot it from the left side. 14-13, Edwards County. Lions regain the lead. Here's the shot on the serve by Perkins, and it is out. Gracie Perkins tried to get it inside the near sideline on the Fox's side and knocked it out of bounds. That's a service error, tying the score at 14. Back to serve. Is that Emily Blades? Yes, it is. Emily Blades with the serve for the Lady Foxes. Here it comes. Dig by Horton. Markman sets it up. Gillard hammers it. They dig that out and set it up. Shot blocked down by Schmittler. Malia Schmittler, the freshman middle hitter for Edwards County, gets the point for, for the Lions. And now Kate Brewster will come in to check the serve as Gillard goes to the bench. Edwards County 15, Hamilton County 14. We're in set two. If the Lions win this set, the match is over. If Hamilton County wins, we'll play a third set. Brewster's serve is a good one to their back line. Dug out, set to the left side. A shot partially blocked. Dug out by Horton, pushed over by Brewster, and Schmittler then knocks it over to them on the third hit. Fox has set it up at the middle of the net. Shot blocked down by Schmittler. Malia Schmittler on the block. 
And it's now Edwards County 16, Hamilton County 14. Here in set two, Lions won the first set, 25-20. Kate Brewster again with the serve. Kate gets the whistle, now steps forward with her jump serve, right down to the back line, dig back there by Blades. Set to the left side, pushed back to Edwards County. Brewster digs it out, Markman sets it up, Schmittler tips it. Dug out actually by Mitchell for the Foxes, pushed back to Edwards County. There's the dig by Watkins, Brewster, hammered by Zoe Markman gets one of her. Oh, no, it's no, still. It's four hits. No, he said it was four hits on Hamilton County. So Markman gets the kill on that one. Zoe does mostly setting, but now every now and then she'll try to surprise him by taking a hit. 17-14 to score. Edwards County by three now. Here's Brewster's serve. There's the back line dig for the Foxes set to the left side. Here's a shot by Dodson. Dug out back there by Perkins. Brewster bumps it up, and Perkins bumps it over on the third hit. Foxes set it again to the left side. Here's a shot by Weinmiller. Dug out by Perkins. Brewster sets it up. Watkins hammers it down the near sideline for a kill. Good shot, Megan. Megan Watkins gets the kill for the Lions. 18-14. I'd be surprised if Jason Hall doesn't call timeout here pretty quickly, Troy. This could get away from him pretty quickly. And they don't have any room to maneuver right now after losing the first set. Here's Brewster with a serve. Good serve to the back line. Mitchell digs it out. Bump forward there by Weinmiller. Over to Edwards County. And Brewster sets it up to the middle. Schmittler hammers it over the end line. Malia got just a little too anxious there for a yep, power hit yep. and knocked it out of bounds. Yep. Into the lineup for the Foxes now is Catherine Drone replacing J.C. Riling. Serve will come from Adrian Weinmiller. 18-15, Edwards County by three here in set two. Here's the serve for the Lady Foxes. Dig by Horton. Brewster sets it up. Schmittler hammers it to the back line and got it in. Actually, she didn't hammer it. She just kind of whapped it over, and it fell inside the line as the Lady Foxes gambled and lost. 19-15 the score. Grace Thomason checks into the lineup, takes a spot on the left side of the front row. Served by Schmittler for the Lions. There's the dig by Mitchell. Pushed back to Edwards County. Saved by Brewster. Set up by Markman. Shot by Watkins. And it's dug into the crowd. That'll be another point for Edwards County. Off the shot by Megan Watkins. 20 to 15. Lions now within five points of earning the right to go to the sectional. But now Jason Hall says, time out. We need to talk about it. 20 to 15. Edwards County by five in set two. Troy? Kenton Sue Nail of Nail's Funeral Home in Albany and Fairfield. Gospel Chapel, a non-denominational church in Bone Gap. Services begin every Sunday morning at 10. Janice Shaw of Janice's Beauty Shop in Albany. She offers the complete line of beauty shop services for women, and she also cuts hair for men. Call Janice for an appointment, 445-2436. And radio station WVYN 90.9 in Wayne City, featuring the best Christian music in southern Illinois, a listener-supported Christian radio station. All right, the Edwards County Lions are back out there first. Now here come the Lady Foxes. And Malia Schmittler will have the serve for Edwards County. Remember, the winner of this match is the regional champ and moves on to the Nashville sectional next Tuesday night. Schmittler will have the serve. And there it goes. Back line dig there for the Foxes set up. Shot here by Drone. Dug out by Watkins. Brewster sets it up, bumped over there by Thomason. Foxes set it up to the right side, and a shot, and a good shot for the Foxes by Sidney Williams for the kill. So it's now 20 to 16, Edwards County, and the serve will come from Sidney Williams. She's a junior. Sidney now steps forward after getting the whistle. Here it comes to the back line dig. Oh, that goes. That's a bad dig there by Horton that went straight ahead about maybe a foot off the floor. Nobody had a chance to make a second hit for Edwards County, so that's an ace for Williams, and that makes it 20 to 17. Fox is down by three. They need to win this set. Here it comes, and Horton digs that one out. Brewster just pushes it over to try to surprise him, but the Foxes were ready. Left side hammer shot, partially blocked, goes to the floor, off the block by Zoe Markman. Now it's 20 to 18, and again, Sydney Williams will serve it for the Lady Foxes. Close match here tonight in McLeansboro. Here's the serve at the top of the net, but nice save and tip over by Brewster. 
Horton saved that one. Now a shot is in. Good shot there for the Foxes by number 23, Caitlin Barr. And it's 20 to 19. Coach Nikowski walking the sideline, does not call timeout, so apparently she's not uh, ready to call one yet. Again, the serve from Williams for the Lady Foxes. Here it comes, dig back there by Perkins. Set up by Brewster, shot by Thomason, into the net, dug out by Watkins. Pushed back over by Thomason to save it for Edwards County. Now the Lady Foxes at the middle, shoot it, out. I think that was Dodson who knocked it out for the Foxes. And now here's Mavis and Rotramble checking in for Watkins and Perkins. It's 21 to 19, Edwards County by two. On the front row for the Lions now, it's Markman, Thomason, and Rotramble. For the Foxes, it's Drone, Williams, or Weinmiller, and Dodson. The serve is a good one. They set it to the left side. And that's going to be a kill for number 23, Caitlin Barr as it went off the hand of Kate Brewster out of bounds. 21-20, Edwards County by a point. Remember, 25 is the winning score. You got to win by at least two. Serve will come from Megan Mitchell, their libero. Good serve to the back line, dug out by Mavis. Brewster sets it up, Zoe shoots it. They dig that out, bump it up second time, back to us on the third hit. Dug out by Markman, set up by Brewster and a hammer by Thomason, they dig that out. Bump it towards the net, back to us. Horton with the dig, Brewster with the set, Thomason with a hammer, and a kill for Grace Thomason. And it's now 22-20, Edwards County by two. Maddie Gillard back in for Kate Brewster, and Zoe Markman will go back to serve. Edwards County 22, Hamilton County 20. Markman has the whistle, now runs forward with her jump serve. It's a short serve to the middle of the court. There's the dig by Mitchell. Bumped up, pushed back to Edwards County. Mavis digs it out. Zoe sets it up. Rotram will hammers it in the net, but Edwards County gets it back over, and now it's knocked out of bounds by Thomason. Attack error by Edwards County, and that makes it Edwards County 22, Hamilton County 21. Back to serve for the Lady Foxes, J.C. Ryling. R-E-Y-L-I-N-G. There's the whistle. Here comes the serve. Dig back there by Gillard. Saved by Horton, and Markman just bumps it over on the third hit. Fox has set it up to the left side. Here's a shot by Barr, dug out by Horton. Zoe sets it up, Thomason hammers it. They dig that out from the back row, bump it back to Edwards County. Horton with the dig, Zoe sets it up, and a tip over by uh, Gillard, but they were ready for it. They bump it back to Edwards County. Horton with the dig. Markman sets it up, Thomason with the tip. Foxes keep it alive, and they bump it over, but it's out of bounds. Kind of a desperation hit there by Caitlin Barr, and it went over this near sideline. Malia Schmittler checks back in. Edwards County 23, Hamilton County 21. Kara Swarton will have the serve. Horton gets the whistle, steps forward, shoots it down the far sideline, dig from the back line. Set up to their left side, pushed, oh, blocked down by Schmittler, and now we're at set and match point. Malia Schmittler with the block down. 24-21. Lions need one more point to go to the sectional for the fourth year in a row. Wouldn't that be right, Troy? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> All right, here comes the serve. Down the far sideline, there's the dig back there by Barr. Set up to the net, tip back to Edwards County. Horton, Markman. And a shot is in, Edwards County is the regional champ. Hannah Rotrammel knocks it down for the Edwards County Lady Lions. And for the fourth year in a row, the Edwards County Lady Lions are the regional champs. Well, actually, we need to correct that, sir. What? Where this is, what year is this? <laughs> this is 15, 2015. Okay, yeah, that's four. We've been to the state tournament three years, haven't we? Right. Well, if we make it again, that would be four. Right, that's four. That's, that's four regional championships right. for Edwards County in right. a row. Maybe more than that, but at least we're... we're oh, okay, yeah, for broadcasting time, or webcasting, whatever, our first one was 212. And so, yeah, 212, 213, 214. You're right, four of them. Four, year, four years in a row, the Lady Lions have won. The re I'll tell you what, though, we got to take our hats off. Well, we can't. we got our headset microphones <laughs> on. But if we could, we'd take our hats off to the Lady Foxes because they gave us a good tussle here tonight, Troy. 
Dave, the thing about this Lady Foxes team is that uh, Jason Hall has them so well coached that throughout this game, Dave, now they did have some that went far out in line, Dave, but the Lady Foxes, they do not serve the ball into the net. No, they, they, they didn't do it one time. They, they, had, they have no net violations. You know, they're, right. when, they, when they get the ball ready for a set and a play, there's nobody in, in any danger of getting called for being in the net. No. They're nowhere close to it. Yeah. They play solid defense. They get great digs. Edwards County, I mean, no, they had to do it against floor too, but Edwards County really had to fight hard to earn oh, this yeah. victory because these Lady Foxes, Dave, make no mistake about it, they're a good team. And we're going to have to tussle with them a lot next year. <laughs> well, and I will look forward to that, Troy. Oh, as, as we say, you know, we're going into the Black Diamond next school year. And I think we're going to de develop some very friendly rivalries with the McLeansboro Foxes in football. Because from what I understand, their football team for the past year or so has been kind of on a par with what Edwards County's football team has been. And certainly in volleyball, we're very closely matched, as we saw oh, here tonight. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we look forward to uh, matches on the baseball diamond and the softball diamond for the girls and the basketball court for the boys. So I, I'm really looking forward to uh, Edwards County getting into the black diamond and competing with schools like the Hamilton County Foxes and the Carmi Bulldogs and the Fairfield Mules and the El Dorado Eagles and so on, teams that Edwards County used to play yeah. in the past before we ever got mixed up with that stinking little Illini conference. Um, and the other thing I'm looking forward to, Dave, I don't think it was just because this is postseason action. You saw the crowd here for these uh, McLeansboro Lady Foxes here tonight. I suspect, Dave, that not just this school, but some of the other schools in this conference, you're going to see better attendance at these oh, yeah. volleyball games oh, yeah. than some of our little Illini conference yeah. opponents. A lot of those schools, Dave, just absolutely do not care about volleyball. They don't. And I don't think that's the case yeah. with this Black Diamond Conference. For the benefit of our uh, McLeansboro or Hamilton County area viewers and, and listeners, a lot of places that the Edwards County Lady Lions went this year for volleyball games, Edwards County had more fans in the stands than the home team did. Uh, the interest in volleyball at most of the schools in the Little Island Conference is not very good. Zero. In fact, in, fact, in some ways, it's downright poor. It's pitiful. But that's not <laughs> true here for uh, Hamilton County. They have no, a lot of fans no. that back their Lady Foxes, and, and rightly so. They've got good volleyball players. When we go to Fairfield, like for this year, it was the volley for the Cure game, but Fairfield fans, they had their side of the bleachers packed, Dave. I believe yeah. Little Island, I mean, excuse me, Black Diamond Conference fans care a lot more about uh, their kids, their teams, volleyball, whatever. I suspect this is going to be uh, a great thing looking well, forward, Dave. The Edwards County is going to be a lot closer to these other schools in the Black Diamond than we have been for the Little Illini. And right. so when you're closer, it just makes it more easier for the fans to attend the games. And those who can't, well, like today, or here tonight, People who are watching us on Edwards County Sports Net or the Fox's Net uh, Network or the uh, Area Sports Network, whichever uh, you might be, uh, you couldn't be here tonight for various reasons. And so you were able to watch it and, and listen to it. And we want to thank uh, the athletic director here at McLeansboro, Clint Weinmiller, for making that possible. Yeah. So, uh, again, hats off to the Lady Foxes and the uh, Hamilton County uh Athletic Director Wine Miller and uh, the rest of the staff here at uh, Hamilton County High School for putting on a very good volleyball tournament here uh, tonight. Well, Troy, you got the stats for Edwards County? I think I could read them off here without adding them up too quickly. Our unofficial stats for Our Lady Lines, Dave. Karis Horton with an ace and ten digs. Zoe Markman with an ace, a dig, uh, eight sets, and two kills. Three kills for Hannah Rowe Trammell. Four digs for Sarah Mavis. Six kills for Megan Watkins. Kate Brewster with two aces and 12 sets. Uh, Maddie Gillard with a dig and three kills. Grace Thomason with three kills. Uh, Malia, again, Dave, that whole thing of you're not a freshman anymore when you get to this point of the season. No, no. Malia Schmittler, two aces, a dig, and 10 kills, Dave. And seven digs for Gracie Perkins. 
Okay, so Edwards County once again moves on to the sectional tournament, and uh, this year it will be at Nashville, Illinois, and the Lady Lions will play Tuesday night, November 3rd, at 7 o'clock against the winner of the belleville Altoff Catholic Regional, and that will be either the host team, belleville Altoff Catholic, or Trenton Westland. Those are the two teams meeting at belleville Altoff Catholic Regional tonight to determine who goes in to that sectional. The other teams that could be there in the six o'clock match Tuesday night would be the winner of the Redbud Regional, which will either be uh, Waterloo Jabot Catholic, who we are very familiar with, or Campbell Hill Trico. And uh, then uh, they would be against the um, winner of the Johnston City Regional, which would either be Carmi or Anna Jonesboro. So those are the potential opponents coming up Tuesday night. Well, Lord willing, Troy and I will be there next Tuesday night to bring you all of the action as the Lady Lions continue their march along the tournament trail in Class 2A competition. Again, they will play Tuesday night, November 3rd at 7 o'clock against the winner of the Belleville Altoff Catholic Regional, again, which will either be Trenton Westland or the team from Belleville Altoff Catholic. And so our webcast, well, since it's the second match that night, that match might start before 7 o'clock. You just never know. Uh, the 6 o'clock match, if, it, if they do it in two sets, well, we might be ready to play before 7 o'clock. But if they have to go three sets, we might be waiting for our turn. So we'll say at this time that the approximate starting time for our webcast from Nashville next Tuesday night will be approximately 6.45. Now, I hope we'll have a big crowd of Edwards County fans there in Nashville to back the Lady Lions again, but realizing there are many folks who are interested in Edwards County volleyball who just cannot possibly go to Nashville next Tuesday night. Well, never fear. You can uh, hear it. I'm guessing right now we'll not be able to do video next Tuesday night. The IHSA wants to charge me $100 to do the video next Tuesday night. I'm not going to do it. No. Not going to pay it. So uh, our, our webcast next Tuesday night, at this point, unless something changes, will be audio only next Tuesday night from Nashville. Troy, anything else needs to be said? Our first trip to Nashville since uh, 2012. Is that where we went for the first t time when we yeah. were covering Edwards County Volleyball? We sure did. So we've been there before, well, haven't we? Yeah, okay. All right. Well, good effort by the Lady Foxes of Hamilton County High School, but they go down to defeat at the hands of the Edwards County Lady Lions. And uh, the scores in two sets, Edwards County wins 25-20 and 25-21. So until we greet you again next Tuesday night from Nashville, Illinois, with a sectional match for the Edwards County Lady Lions. On behalf of our webcast boosters and my partner Troy, this is Dave Riggs saying so long for just a little while.